And so Mauricia skipped away with all of her Apple classmates. Hold on a second. Mauricia actually skipped? Ah! I once skipped across a Nepalese plateau wearing nothing but yak butter! Now that's a tale to tell! But now I must rewind the forest ambience. <clears throat> yes, Mauricia skipped. She felt it was much more ladylike. It just wasn't very fast. So, everybody, as part of our Halloween dress rehearsal, it's time for Bobbing for a Pulse! Okay, children, today we'll finger paint with applesauce. Made from those apples right over there. And that's how you play fruit ball. So, everyone bring their fruit. I got an orange. I got a banana. Mm -hmm. Hey, is anyone using this apple? Don't worry, Fluffy, my sweet. Mrs. Gorf must have a reason for being so mean. Maybe being turned into a little old apple is just a part of growing up. Potato casserole. Let's see, ten eggplant, six couple socks, and one potato. Where I put my potato? <laughs> Aha! <laughs> is there an echo? Cool. <laughs> oh, Fluffykins! You're a... You're a prickly pineapple! <laughs> That's when things changed for Mauricia. It was like something inside of her just snapped! <laughs> turns my porcupine into a porcupine apple. <laughs> but first, there's something I gotta do. Go, 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 go. Huh? Apple sauce, apple sauce, apple sauce, apple sauce. Swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada bada, swing, bada bada bada, swing! Come back here! You're not first food to run from, Miss Mush! Where do you go? Ah! I no need stupid potato. I make crayon casserole instead. And that's why we never eat Miss Mush's rainbow colored casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds me of the time I wrestled a wild crayon on the coast of Tangiers. Teal blue, one of the most ferocious colors alive. Maybe I'll go fix the stream. So Mauricia snatched up all the rest of us Apple students. Now. Where were we? Give me back my class! Sure! You want them? You got them! I give up! Make them stop! Only if you promise to turn them all back into students. Okay, okay, I promise. So Mrs. Gorf turned all of us apples Gorf? back into students. Gorf? Fluffy! Oh, Fluffy. Ouch! You've changed. Well, that makes two of us. At this point, Mauricia could have turned back, too. Back into the polite and proper girl she'd been before. <laughs> 
school? No! I've turned myself into an apple! That was the end of Mrs. 